it's a Gryffindor. It's a Harry Potter Gryffindor jumper, and this is the coziest thing ever. You need it. It's from Primark. It was eight pound. Get onto it. You love it. It's amazing. It's cozy. I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this is going to be the first video that I upload. I have done quite a lot of videos so far, but hopefully this should be the first one. This is going to be a get to know me, get ready with me, where I'm going to be talking to you guys about a couple of facts about myself so you guys can get to know me. And also, I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna do my makeup. My hair is not done, it is a hot mess for a couple of minutes, but I'm going to sort that out and I hope that you guys really enjoy the video. I hope that you can subscribe. If you want to watch my video on how I get ready, then please keep watching. I have wrote down a couple of questions here while I do my makeup and make myself look nice. <laughs> First of all, I am going to moisturise using my Aveeno Active Natural Skin Relief Lotion. This is the best lotion to use if you have dry skin. I'm going to be priming my face using the New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm also going to be using, oh, sorry about that. So I am just taking this Instant Pore Remover. I'm just going to put it all over my face. Okay, so the first question is, what is your full name? My full name is Sophia Elizabeth Tranter. No, it's not Sophie, although, I'm sure my parents didn't realise that when they named me Sophia, I would get called Sophie on a day-to-day -day basis because everyone thinks my name is Sophie and the amount of times I have to be like, no, my name is Sophia, there's a difference, Sophie has an E, Sophia has an A, cool, let me just clear that up, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm in like a lecture or a seminar, I'll sometimes be like, Sophie trying to I'm like, there is Sophie Tranter in here because there's only a Sophia Tranter. Get my name right or don't even try and use Sophie because it's embarrassing. What does your name mean? I have no idea. Let's ask Siri. What does the name Sophia mean? The capital of Bulgaria, population 1,162,898, 2008. Okay, but that's not really what my name means, is it? Let me Google. Go for a bit of Googs. I never really trust Siri these days, she always chats a bit of waffle, do you know what I mean? What does Sophia mean? Kind, beautiful and caring girl, okay, doesn't really give you a, th a full thingy, it just says it's truly herself around you, um, she's the smartest person you'll ever meet, so basically they're just bigging my name up and I fully agree, I'm the smartest person you'll ever meet. I'm from England, Kent, um, about an hour and a bit away from London, depending on traffic. Um, I live in a town called Strood. You probably, a lot of people haven't heard of the town, but it is very small and there is nothing there. Also, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 010 Light Porcelain. I really am liking the way lighter foundation is making my skin look. It makes me look a bit more, could you say, airbrushed, like it's making my skin look more dewy, more awake. I'm more ready for the day. Using the Real Techniques Powder Blue brush in a number E03. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm just gonna go in with a bit of concealer. The shade um, Fair One, and this is the Collection Lost in Perfection Concealer. You've probably heard of this before. This is the go-to concealer for most people. It's a maze. It's really, really a maze. My beauty blender and just Dab that in. What is your favourite drink? I don't really have a favourite drink. If I could say anything, it will probably be tea because I drink tea all the time. I'm a tea girl. Also drink a bit of coffee in the morning when I need it. Blending this into my skin like this. And I'm going out tonight so I need to actually make my skin look nice and ready to go. What is your favourite food? Oh my god, I love food like how can you not love food i absolutely love food i uh, like food is always on my brain i live my day around food is the best way to say it I'm using the same beauty blender i'm now going to go in with maybelline fix setting and affecting loose powder i'm going to take that under my eyes and everywhere else that i put concealer just to set that in place what is your favorite holiday destination okay Fun fact about me guys, um, I only went on a plane last year for the first time ever and I went to Portugal for a hen party with my mum, my sister, although I was ill and the most annoying thing is 
that the day we was meant to be coming back, I was fine. And I was like in the pool and everything like that. But on the first day we was out, I was literally in bed. I'm going to contour. But first of all, I'm going to wipe away all of the stuff on my face using a Real Techniques Powder Blue in the 01. Going to rub it all away and leave it under my eyes to set. If anything, I'm going to add a tiny bit more powder in the eyes. At the moment, I am currently at university in Canterbury and I am studying drama and theatre. I really like it. I graduate on July the 18th to be exact. And did you know you're only allowed two people in your graduation? Two people. I'm just going to rub that away and keep it under my eyes. And now I am going to contour using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. I like to use... This one, which is mostly empty, I have hip pan and I'm just going to chisel these cheekbones. I have one real brother, his name is Ethan, one real sister, her name is Holly. One half sister on my mum's side, her name is Emma. A half sister on my dad's side called Charlotte. I'm just contouring my face and trying to get everything looking absolutely stunning. What's your favourite way to pass time? This is going to be so expected that it's actually unreal. But, uh, YouTube, also, just a quick bit of advice, I honestly think YouTube and Netflix, if you're more of a Netflix person, YouTube has honestly helped me in so many different ways over the last four to five years. I was able just to spend a couple of minutes a day, half an hour a day, 20 minutes a day, just focusing on someone else's life and watching a YouTube video and really just taking time out of my day to focus on something else. Another big, big one is that I blog. I'm a blogger. I'm a blogger from Kent and I run a blog um, on WordPress. Beauty, baking, lifestyle and travel blogger. So I blog about quite a lot of different things and that is because I cannot stick to one thing to talk about because I don't stop talking. Also just using the Real Techniques blush brush and my Rimmel natural bronzer in the shade 021 sunlight and this is the best bronzer for me because it makes my face look like a bronzed goddess. I got sent the four Real Techniques brushes. BO4 eyeshadow brush, Real Techniques, BO1 powder brush, Real Techniques, BO2 highlight or contour brush I believe and Real Techniques BO3 this is the flat face brush. I absolutely love them and if you go onto my blog, you will see a full review and they are also on my Instagram. I will leave all my social media links in the description down below, as well as my blog. So you guys can go and check it out. I'm now taking my Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighter in the shade Pink Peach Goddess. And I'm taking that on the BO4 Real Techniques. And I'm going to run that over my cheekbone. I really like using this brush for this highlighter because it is tapered at the ends and it goes right in my cheekbones. <laughs> Going to fill in my brows. I need to close my window because my toes are cold. When I do my brows, I like to vary between a lot of different things. Sometimes I will use pomades, sometimes I will use gels, sometimes I will use powders. And I have been really, really, really loving spraying my MAC 266 brush. It's a little pencil brush been spraying it with Mario Badescu's um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Now I'm taking the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This palette is actually a godsend. First of all though, I am going to take this little spoolie and I am going to run it through my brows to tame them a little bit. Taking the shade Charmed, I'm sure, which is the top right shade, right in the top there. This brow, oh my god. I'm sorry, it looks like I've had them done. Um, I'm loving these brows, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think they look absolutely snatched, and I'm living for them. Okay, hello brows, come through. Are you a dog or a cat person? I struggle with this because I'm both. I am, I love a little kitty, and I love a dog. I'm just running some clear brow gel through my brows just to keep them in place, and I'm using the Ramel brow this way, and it's great. What is one item you can't leave the house without? My phone, my bag, a spray. I will always have a spray on me. If I'm carrying a clutch, I will find a spray that's small enough to fit in the clutch. Because I love a good spritz. 
spritz me up all day every day you don't want to be smelly you want to smell nice you know what i mean i think when you smell nice you instantly have a good vibe about you you know what i mean like if someone walks past me and i smell and i'm like mm, i'm like go girl you know what i mean you smell great give me some of that <laughs> just going to take my Jacqueline Hill palette that is very dirty. Please do not judge me. I have to say this all the time because it's white and it gets dirty so quick and so easy. And I'm just sitting here like, do I need to have time to wipe it? Probably not. Therefore, this is my dirty Jacqueline Hill and Morphe palette. Absolutely gorgeous palette. Yes, it is very dirty, but we're not here for the dirt. We're here for the colours. Also had a blog post on this palette, a very, very in-depth one. I'm going to leave that in the description down below where you can go across. And literally there is a thorough review of everything. The pigmentation, the colour selection, the size of the pans, everything you can think of about this palette. It is in that blog post. And as there is no names in this palette, I'm just going to be pointing to colours and hoping that you guys can see what shade I'm pointing to. So I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques BO4 brush and using... This shade right here, the first shade in the palette of the top row, and I'm just going to run that all over my eye. This was the last book you read? Well, I'm currently still reading a book. I'm currently still reading All the Bright Places by Jennifer Levine, and it is a really good book. It is a book about two teenagers that are suicidal, and they meet on the edge of a bell tower, and they basically come together. They meet each other, they learn from one another, and it all blossoms and it's great. Now I'm going to be taking this shade right here, the one on the end there, second row to the bottom. I'm also just going to take a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush to really work that into the outer corner. What is your biggest biggest accomplishment? My blog. I have worked um, very, very hard for where my blog is today. I get a lot, uh, on a daily basis, a lot of comments from absolutely lovely people. They're like, we love your blog, your blog's amazing, how do you do this, how do you do that? Ask me for advice and tips, but also to say, like, I really love this blog post. I really appreciate you, like, putting time and effort into it. Absolutely love it. Love your blog and all that. And that is so nice to hear, because I've worked so hard on my blog. And it's nice for someone to be like, you know what, you've worked hard girl, I'm going to tell you you've worked hard, and I can see that you've worked hard. I uh, am very happy that I have built, with a bit of fluff, a good relationship with a lot of brands. Um, I have been a very, very lucky blogger. In my, I have only been blogging for a year this month, on the 31st of January is my one year for my blog. I have worked with a lot of brands, whether that be ads, sponsored content, paid content, I have been very lucky. Appreciate everything, every brand contacting me, every brand sending me stuff. I have been sent a lot of stuff, reviewed a lot of stuff, but I've absolutely loved it and I would not change it for the world. Brands to contact me and be like, we really love this on your blog, please can we work with you. Absolutely amazing and honestly, one of the best things I have ever done for myself. I talk a lot, as you guys can probably tell me, it's gonna be a very long video. I talk a lot and I need somewhere to let it all out. What better way than to start a blog and to talk about things that you love. I'm now going to take this colour right next to it and just dab my central crease brush in from Real Techniques and I'm gonna work that in the crease as well. Do you have a best friend? If so, then who? I have around three friends that I would class as my best friends, like my go-to friends, if I need anything, if I need an arm, a leg, a liver, some water, medicine, these friends I know that I can call upon. These friends know who they are as well. Go in with the black shade on the end here and use another essential crease brush. Let's take the black shade and buff it out. Do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? I have the tiniest little birthmark that I wouldn't even class as a birthmark. One day I felt left out and thought, you know what? I'm going to search for a birth birthmark. It is like there. I'm going to buff out the powder under my eyes now because I should be baked and also it will work away any eyeshadow that may have fallen down. Get my central crease brush and go into this colour here and just do it under my eyes and sort that out. Maybe my two favourite mascaras ever. Maybelline um, Falsies Push Up Angel. I think that says I can never read that right in. And the Maybelline Lash Sensation. The biggest fear is that I will not be able to look after myself when I'm older, I won't be able to be financially stable. Another fear is I have a fear of snakes, death, so someone around me or me dying is very, 
something I think about quite a lot. I work in Wilkinson's. I'm a Wilco's gal and I have been there for a year and a half. Um, I love a bit of Wilco's. Everyone loves a bit of Wilco's. I get told on a daily. I can never talk window liner, so bear with. Also, the lashes I'm taking are these lashes from Primark. They are the sultry lashes and these are honestly the best lashes that I've, I've ever used. I like the way they look. Who is your role model? My role model is my mother. My mum is the best person I know, very hard working and she's very caring, very loving and anyone that you meet that knows my mum will never say anything bad about her. Everyone knows that my mum is an amazing person. My mum will work from 8 in the morning to 10 at night. My mum works so hard and my mum honestly deserves everything in the whole entire world. I'm going to go off and do my lashes and I will be right back. I'm back. So my lashes are on and I added um, highlight to my inner corner using the mask single pigment eyeshadow using that. That is the best inner corner highlight that you ever could need. I used that in my inner corner and I also took the Ramel eyeliner pencil and just run that along my waterline. So anyone else put a weird face with face with a So anyone else put a weird face when you do your bottom eyelashes because I do. Add some more highlighter um, on the nose, now above the brows as well, and the chin. We like to be nice and glowy. Essence, shine, 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 wet gloss, wet look, lip gloss in the shade 05, so into it. A nudey colour and it's just lovely, it's not too sticky, it lasts for so long and I'm thoroughly impressed with it. Absolutely love it. Thank you guys for watching my video today. I really hope you liked it. And also, thank you for watching. I hope that you can subscribe. Um, if you want my notifications for when I upload, please hit the bell button down below and everything else that you will need to know, such as what I've used in this video or links to anything will be down below. Bye. Oh, I'm always looking at you and be like, okay, you've got enough eyes. I'm like, thanks. Just went on my tongue, and that was absolute disgust. All I think about is food. <laughs> Get off people out who are underage. Huh? Yeah, little nasty. Just do a little wing. Now I'll put it back up, and I need to do it. Okay, because it's a mess. Okay.